welcome to part 2 of this uh, text classification uh, project uh, in the previous video uh, we actually prepared our data set uh, and made it you know suitable for training and uh, if you guys didn't check that out yet I would uh, recommend that you check that out first and yeah let's begin with the training part of uh, our project so the machine learning recipe which we're going to use for our uh, model is called the naive base approach uh, if you guys don't know what that is you may want to check it out first so from sklearn we're going to use the scikit-learn uh, library for creating a model so it already has a naive base uh, method built in so from sklearn dot naive base import multinomial naive base Alright, so this is the function. So after we import that, instead of printing the features, we can um, we can say and actually we can also import um, from sklearn dot model selection import train test split as dts and then we can do x train x test y train and y test equals tts features labels test size equals 0.2 so what this function basically is doing it's taking in the features, it's taking in the labels and it is splitting the data set into two parts, a training part and a testing part. So X train denotes the features used for training alone and X test denotes the features uh, we're going to use for testing and Y train denotes the corresponding labels we're going to use for training and Y test denotes the corresponding labels we're going to use for testing. And test size uh, 0 0.2 denotes uh, that we're going to use 20% of the data set for testing so we're going to so that translates to that we're going to use 80% of the data set for training and the remaining 20% is kept aside and uh, the our program hasn't seen that data yet and we're going to use that later for testing it out so once we have that we can actually do the training part so we can make a classifier and we can say clf equals multinomial nb and then we can fit the classifier with um, the training features and the corresponding um, training labels so I'm going to fit it with x train and y train and then we can actually start making predictions so predictions equals uh, we're going to use our uh, the the features which we kept aside for training for this part so clf dot predict uh, x test so we're going to give it that um, those features which we kept aside and we're going to ask it to predict the labels so now to measure how well our uh, program fare we can um, we have to import this uh, accuracy score uh, function from sklearn dot metrics and after we've done that we can say uh, print accuracy score of uh, so accuracy score takes in two parameters a uh, true and a prediction so the tr the actual labels which uh, correspond to the testing features are stored in white test so those are the true labels and then our predictions are preds so we can do that and now I think we can go ahead and run this so let the program run again and I'll get back to you when the program is finished uh, so the program finally finished running uh, and uh, our accuracy is 93.5 percent um, that is a very good accuracy for the first time and uh, sure this can be made better but for our purposes I think this is a very very good uh, accuracy score so yeah now that this um, you know this classifier is trained now we can actually uh, you know uh, get to the 
real life implementation of filtering of spam messages so for that uh, i'm going to make a new file and i'm going to call it uh, detector or something detector dot py and so i'm going to import sk do we need uh, do we need sk alone i'm not really sure so but we do need a uh, c pickle so c pickle as c oh what happened there c pickle as c and now we have to define a load method so load uh, load a classifier i guess or maybe load a clf file i don't know so this load method will uh, get the mdl file which we just saved into memory so with open clf file as fp uh, this time we don't have to uh, specify any attributes here because by default uh, a file is open in reading mode and since you're only going to read it this time it's completely okay so with open file point uh, with open CLF file as, file as fp fp dot load uh, I'm going to say CLF equals fp dot load I think that syntax is correct and then we can return CLF and then we can say uh, CLF or loaded CLF just for short um, you know what this CLF whatever CLF is equal to load and the model which we're gonna load, uh, I think it was called uh, text classif text classifier dot mdl. Let's just check that text classifier dot mdl. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna load that, and then uh, and then maybe we can get the input from the user, I guess. So. Uh, in is equal to raw input and I'm gonna give a prompt there and we can do clf dot predict um, predict so we yeah so the, now there is a small uh, next uh, there's a small you know pre-processing to do before uh, you know before we start predicting so now that we've, that we've gotten the input from the user, we have to predict if that is a spam or not a spam. So we have to change this input from, from a string format into a numerical format, which our program understands, right? So, so what we're going to do is the same thing as we did before. We're going to make a feature vector out of this, uh, out of this string. So for that, again, we need to uh, make a dictionary which we have here so I'm just gonna copy this thing I'm sure this code can be made you know much better and you can import that function directly here uh, but I'm not gonna do that for now uh, maybe as an exercise you guys can do that and I'm gonna just paste it right here so I have the dictionary code so I can now make a dictionary as well so d is equal to make dict uh, and then I guess we have to make the data set also. Uh, maybe this time we can do it in a simpler way. So after we get the dictionary, we can uh, make the data set. Uh, so we can make uh, a features. I'll make a features list, empty list. And before we do this, um, we have to make the, the feature vector again. So for every word, in the dictionary uh, in D uh, features dot append word dot count uh, I'm sorry not words in dot count of word of zero so I'm gonna count how many so for every word in the dictionary I'm gonna count how many times that word occurs in our input string and then I'm going to append that into the features uh, list and I think this should be okay so now that we have the features list we can say clf dot predict uh, we're going to predict the features uh, cl uh, predict by default uh, expects a list of lists uh, since you only have uh, one list I'm just going to enclose it 
in a pair of square brackets to you know make it look like a list of lists so i'm going to predict that and then i'm going to do print not spam spam exclamation mark uh print not spam spam based on whatever the result is so i'm going to make it a result and result is also uh, the result variable is also i mean the return values are list of lists so we should say res of 0 result of 0 so whatever the result is if the result is 1 then it will print spam and if the result is 0 then it will print not spam and i think this should be fine uh, so let's try to run this uh, and so python detector.py and i'm gonna run this and there's a and there's a invalid syntax error what could it be in is equal to raw input i don't know what the problem with that is oh i think uh, oh in is a is a keyword so my bad imp i'm gonna change it to imp very bad naming but okay and there is another error file object had has no attribute load huh i think it's load s loads i think i'm not sure okay we find out soon enough i'm gonna run this again and it has no attribute called loads either hmm okay let's open safari not send anywhere okay see pickle loading let's see what that gives it's just load right okay oh it's got it's c dot load ha huh. c dot load fp cool sorry guys OS is not defined. Where do I need OS? Damn. Import OS. And I'm going to import sklearn just to be sure. F from sklearn import star. Okay. Okay. So it's making the dictionary. And there's another. Oh my god from collections import counter run it again and yeah it's now finally asking me for my user input i can say um hey bro how was dinner with your girlfriend last night not spam cool so that's uh, that was uh, our, that was an example of you know it uh, our program taking in an input and uh, classifying if it's a spam or not and as expected it uh, it predicted it's not a spam message so i edited this program a little bit and i closed this entire part into a simple while true loop which would only exit when the input is uh, exit so now we can with this loop we can actually test out our you know messages with ease without having to run the program over and over again so let's test it out so i have the sentence here i hope you enjoyed the dinner last night not a spam that's good and maybe something like uh, apply quick or uh, i don't know a limited seats available apply quick to avail the offer and this is classified as a spam so that's pretty good so most of our day-to-day -day emails are of something of this sort right so that pretty much sums it up uh, our model is working pretty decently and uh, 
maybe if you guys want to extend on it maybe you guys can try out different uh, data sets or maybe even a different uh, algorithm uh, altogether maybe you guys can try a Gaussian naive base approach or maybe even an SVM and see how that uh, that compares to the other models so there's a lot of uh, you know potential things you can build upon after you've made this model maybe you can embed this in a chatbot or maybe even you know make an own email client which has a has your uh, own you know spam filtration method so i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and i hope you guys uh, learned something from it uh, so yeah this was text classification with python and scikit-learn um, thank you